It has been an Orlando staple for more than six decades now. This morning, the doors to Wally's Bar closed for good. Yeah, if you're not aware, the bar sits on a corner along Mills Avenue and has created its share of memories for patrons near and far. New Six's Vanessa Ariza joins us now live from Wally's tonight. So, Vanessa, why the sudden closure? Well, Lisa, I spoke with the owner just a few hours ago. He said health concerns overtook him running this business. Customers have been coming throughout the day. They are greeted with this sign here on the door. They're telling them after almost 65 years next month, the doors are closing. Some patrons even leaving flowers here and every single one shaking their head in disbelief. A staple in the Mills 50 area now closed. I mean, I've been getting calls all day. This has been one of Michael O'Shaughnessy's spots since his football days in the 70s. In fact, his jersey still hangs on the wall. This wasn't just a bar. It was the bar to go to, no matter who you were. At the end of the day, it really has been everybody's bar. Uh, Orlando's most iconic bar. It's a, uh, it's, it's, it scans all classes and all social groups. And it was everybody's bar. Co-owner Martin Snowgrove says his health took priority. For a few months now, he's been thinking of selling the place. Many people showing interest, but he says no one moved forward. It was this morning this sign was posted. My niece who lives in Jacksonville saw it online and she shot me a text and I was like, no, not Wally's. Snowgrove did say there are plans already in the works on selling it. To who, he wouldn't say. But popular patron, attorney John Morgan, voiced his interest in taking it over, saying, quote, when I come home for summer, I will look into buying it. We shared the bar with uh, you know, you know, painters and construction people that had to have a pop at 7 or 8 in, in the morning. Uh, sorority girls, the ATOs from UCF, uh, everybody claimed this as their home. And when I asked Snell Grove if... He could confirm whether or not John Morgan was the one who may be interested in that sale or if that's in the works. He wouldn't confirm that or, in fact, when the deal may be reached. He said he wants to thank all of the patrons who came here. He says he knows they're sad and disappointed. He said he's just as sad, if not more, that this staple has closed. Now, along social media, it has been blowing up. People saying that here at 8 o'clock tonight in the parking lot, Patrons and employees are going to gather and have one last drink to celebrate the memories here. Lisa? Vanessa Ariza reporting live for us tonight. Thank you. It certainly did come as a big surprise yeah. to a lot of people. You know, you drive about by all the time. Yeah, Yeah, and, and it's interesting, John Morgan's tweet. Yeah, I'll get home from the summer. I'll think about buying. Well, Dude. he's been a fan of that <laughs> bar for a while. He's been going there for right, a long right, time. Right, right. Last, last time I heard anything <laughs> about Wally's, he was posting on Facebook, hey, I'm at Wally's, y'all come. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, did you go? You will, I did not. <laughs>